CRD TV. I'm here at uh, Hayden Road after today's 1 1 draw for the Diamonds against uh, Lois Toft Town. I'm here with uh, Man of the Match and Captain uh, Liam Doman. Liam, uh, great to be back, but probably not the result you expected or wanted. No, obviously, good to be back. It's uh, six weeks, I think, it's been since the last play, but it's not about me, it's about the team. And altogether, I don't think we were good enough today to, to warrant getting three points out of them. So, but, but, we haven't lost, we take a point and we move on to next week. Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought we started fairly evenly. Um, probably they had a couple of chances with a couple of defensive errors and uh, that was about, and they took the lead from that and then we struggled for the rest of the half, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, we uh, we started bright for 10 or 15 or so and then like you say, they've come into it and scored again, but that was our own undoing. But um, Alex knows that, he's, he's man enough to admit to us that he made a mistake and he's been brilliant since he's come in, so no one's going to going to have a go at him or nothing like that and he, he shown what he's about because he carried on with the way he's been playing since after that so but we've got the penalty at the end of the half and we probably didn't deserve to go in drawing to be honest but like I say the forwards have dug us out of the hole a bit and and then like I say second half I thought we, we had a go for 15 minutes in the first then the game just sort of petered out and then last five minutes they come at us and we got a couple of good blocks in, but I think overall probably a draw was a fair result. Yeah, I mean, the penalty came out of nowhere because I thought uh, we probably didn't deserve to be level at half-time. No, no, we said that now at half-time. That goal doesn't um, change the way we were playing. We we wasn't awful, but we weren't, we just weren't out. We weren't picking up enough second balls all over the pitch and the management had their say at half-time. I think we went out and proved for 15 minutes that we could go at teams, but then, like I say, it just petered, petered out, and that wasn't us, really. So it's a bit disappointing, but we've just said in there, it's, an, it's a game we haven't lost when maybe 
in years gone by we'd have lost it not playing well so yeah it's, we take a positive it's a point and we go to hopefully to Bedworth next week and pick up three and then this looks like a good point again yeah I mean uh, we've said all along that this league and uh, obviously Lewis offer in a relegation battle they didn't play like that did they no I, I think both times we've played them they um they don't seem like a team that should be down there they've got some good players good good, good attacking players and they're not scared to have a go at you that's probably that's probably probably their downfall against most teams that teams will probably just pick them off with a bit of quality and we didn't quite do that today but like I say I, th I don't think they'll be in a relegation scrap come the end of the season I think they've got some good players and um, yeah it's, it's just disappointing we didn't get the results today but we know we didn't play well enough to yeah, I mean, near the end when they had the pressure, I thought uh, that was, I was surprised actually because I thought they'd settle for the point and uh, I thought we might get them on the break. Yes, but we said now at half time they're not a team to sit back for a point, I don't think. You can see the way they set up, they bomb, they bomb players forward, they're quite quick on the break, when, but they dominated the last five minutes, no getting away from that. And, and we dug in and we defended well. And luckily, uh, Ben Heath, second half, he, he didn't have a save to make, he had a couple of things to do, but no, no real uh, shots to save. And uh, obviously, first time you played with Alex, um, first impressions? I've said all along since he's been here, the games, he's played brilliantly, and so is Blaze. Blaze is really unfortunate to play. It's obviously unfortunate to, to be picked today, but them two have done brilliant, so has the whole team since I've been away. And hopefully, now we can kick on and have a good last three or four months of the season and really have a go at it. And personally, um, I know you find it difficult when you don't play. I think you tried to come back uh, probably too soon. Yeah, I, I did just before Christmas, but. I needed to give it a go, especially with the big games over Christmas. I needed to see how it was, and it felt OK. I did a really hard session that Lammy put on, on on the Tuesday, and then Thursday it just it wasn't right, so it would have been wrong for me to say to Peaksy that I was fit to play. And I just, I've done it before, I've come back a bit too and just played through it, but I think we've got players, if they're fit, they, they play at the end of the day. So, um, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm back now, hopefully I'm injury-free now. And, um, yeah, hopefully we kick on for the rest of the season. And final question, 4G pitch next week, does that make a difference to you? I don't think so, no. Obviously, it's, uh, the people that don't play on we can hate playing on them. It's OK training on playing on them. It's a different book. But we go there, we've been there before. We've won there, we've, we've played on a lot of 3G pitches now. It's, we'll just prepare as if it's a normal game and then hopefully we can come away with three points. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. All right, thanks Liam and John. And again, the final scoreline reads AFC Russian Diamonds 1, Lowestoft Town 1. I'm with the gaffer, the manager, Andy Peaks. Peaksy, uh, how did Diamonds not win that game? Because we, uh, we obviously didn't score enough goals to win it. Um, and to be honest, I don't think we played well enough to win it, if I'm being honest. Well, in the first half, it was tough going for Diamonds, especially when Ben Folks uh, put Lowestoft in the lead in the 23rd minute. And uh, that was a tough goal to give up there. He neatly slotted the ball home, didn't the folks uh, do there on that occasion? Yeah, it was a good finish. Uh, made our own problems by overplaying, I think, uh, and got caught. We'd been caught once before when Ben made a good save. Um, but, yeah, he tucked it away really well. And for the rest of the half, we didn't create a great deal, did we? Um, we, had, we had some good forays and weren't good enough in the final film when we did get opportunities. Um, and we sort of almost got out of jail getting a penalty right on the stroke of half-time. I'm guessing, Andy, maybe you had a half-time speech all prepared to, to give the lads, and then all of a sudden, sure enough, it's a stone-cold penalty on Lowestoft. Ben Farrell, uh, of course, neatly uh, put the ball into the net for the penalty kick, and so we're at least equalized at halftime, 1-1. Yeah, no, he was delighted to get a penalty. He took it away really well, um, but it didn't really alter the chat because we wasn't good enough first half. Um, they were quicker to a lot of balls. They helped, I thought they outplayed us in for spells in the first half, um, so that was disappointing. Um, so we're trying to put it right second half. Second half, though, is a whole different ball game, I thought, for Diamonds. Played much better, and the ball was going right where we wanted it to, and uh, should have taken the lead, I thought. Yeah, we probably. I still don't think we were at it second half to the standards we've set, but we were better, um, certainly going forward. Um, I still thought they looked quite dangerous at times. Um, they certainly come not to sit back, they come to play. Um, and I think if we'd have been better going forward in certain areas, we perhaps would have capitalised on that. Uh, but we wasn't. Um, and as a positive, we did defend quite well, certainly the last 15 minutes when they had another go at it. Um, and we come away with the point, so to speak. In the 61st minute, Tom Lorraine had a, a great shot on goal. Hit the post, though. Tough luck for Shanks on that one. Yeah, it was lucky. It was, it was a great ball from deck, and it was a great header. Very, very unlucky, yeah. That's the sort you want to drop in, um, but it didn't. Um, we had another one hit the post. So we've had enough chances to win the game, and we could be standing there over a different conversation. But overall, I don't think we had enough players playing to the capabilities or the levels they've set in previous weeks. And I think they'll admit that. They're an honest bunch. We keep saying that. And we didn't have enough players playing at their performance levels I want.
Uh, yeah, we almost uh, got an own goal from uh, Lois Stoff as they had a ball hit the post from their defender. So that would have been a heck of a way to win a game on an own goal. Ought to took it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you did put in some uh, substitutions for Diamonds in the second half. Uh, Jack Bowen and uh, Samuel Johnson played well. And also our first look, a uh, debut for Benjamin Akwai. I hope I'm saying his uh, surname correctly. Yeah, no, you are. Yeah, like Jack and Sam obviously come on a bit earlier and Ben got a bit of a run in the last 10. Difficult when you come on that late on. Um, I'm sure we'll see more from him in the future. Um, Sam contributed quite well as well. Um, just disappointed, really, because it's points dropped. But then is it a point gain based on the game? I'm not sure. Now you're happy to have Liam Dolman back in the starting 11 today. You feel like a bully's back up to match fitness now? I think he's going to take some games to get to where he wants to be, but he's only going to get that by playing. Um, he's been out quite a few weeks. He's a bit harsh on Blaze. He's done well, but, you know, I felt it was right to bring Bully back. Um, he's a club skipper. Uh, he's been a rock for a long time. So, yeah, he came back in today. And hopefully, I'm sure he'll, he'll be benefit from 90 minutes. We're still missing uh, Jack Ashton, though. Jacko uh, still on the injury uh, list, right? No, Jack's not far away now. He's trying well this week. And, yeah, no, he, um, he's not far away from playing. So that's another plus. All right. And Ben Heath uh, kept us in, in the game for sure. Had some nice saves there as well. Yeah, Ben made some good saves. Yeah, I thought he did well. The Trawler boys, they didn't look like a 20th place team, though. Did they played us tough. Yeah, they, they were good when we played down there. and They played some good stuff today. Um, so they're quite attacking. They've certainly got some good attacking players. They could play some good stuff, but we need to be better. So we take the point and move on. Uh, next game is at Bedworth United. They're bottom of the table, so you're not going to like what I'm going to say now. It should be an automatic three points. Nothing is in this league. You've proved that today at home to everyone I think today was, but I don't take it for granted. Um, it'll be hard. They've only lost games by the odd goal. Um, it's all on Astro, which is a big advantage to those. Um, so, no, we'll, we'll train this week. Be ready for that. All right. Well, good luck next week. Thanks for your time, Andy. I Cheers. don't need love.